It's been less than a week since the deadliest mass shooting in American history. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. There's a certain kind of video called deepfakes that are AI-generated fake videos. And they're being applied a lot to cases where people want to swap faces of one actor for another. A new tide of optimism was already sweeping across our land. Anonymous people can go online and insert anybody they want to in whatever video they want. Some of the earliest and most popular uses of deepfakes were in inserting the face of a female celebrity into a hardcore sex scene. But we're now seeing it also with women who are very far from the public eye. Women who are not celebrities, not famous actors, just everyday women. All you really need to make a really convincing deepfake is a computer, a lot of facial images of someone, a good video that you want to swap it into, and maybe a couple of hours. We're getting to a point now where there is artificial intelligence software that can effectively take the hard work out of making a fake that looks lifelike. This technology is being used almost entirely to target women in this pornographic way. They're having their photos taken from Facebook, they're having their faces extracted from video. The technology is widely available, it's free, and the videos can spread very quickly on the internet. The women have very few ways to fight back. The deep fakes problem is a relatively new problem. There's no question that there are a number of members of Congress on both sides of the aisle who are acutely aware of it and are focused on what we might try to do to resolve it. We don't necessarily have the resources to fully investigate these things. When somebody creates one of these things, it may make its way to, a, to its source, to the target audience, without it being obvious in every instance where it came from, who originally uh, created it. There are movements in the US and the UK to ban what they call non-consensual pornography. But even today, there's still no real deep fake law. So another thing people have talked about is the possibility that we would have laws that would try to incentivize the intermediaries, whether it's traditional media or social media platforms, to do more to screen out and detect these sorts of fakes. Um, that's easier said than done, though. Spread the word. Ring the alarm bell. Let people know that there is this emergent technology that's going to make the ability to doctor video and audio so much more credible than most people assume is possible. You can't just assume that your eyes and ears can be trusted when you're watching digital content. There are legal and technical proposals for ways that people can combat the spread of deep fakes. But for now, the women who have been targeted say can feel almost impossible to fight back. <laughs>